Hey guys, it's your boy Treasure here, just checking in, making sure you guys are doing good. I hope this quarantine thing is treating you well. I hope you're enjoying your time at home. And if not, then figure it out. Find a way to enjoy your time at home because you're stuck there, sorry. But uh, make the most of it. Enjoy the time with your family and everything. Um, I myself have been very busy recently um, doing work. I'm always working. I work for this company right here. I think it's backwards in this video, but it says Foundation Repair. That's the name of the company I work for. I do lots of foundation repair stuff. Um, do you guys know what foundations are? You may, you may not. Um, but that's kind of part of what you guys are going to be discussing this week. So I'll let Elizabeth take it from here. It was great to hear from you, Trevor. Kids, I miss hanging out with you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a great week and a great Easter. Are you guys enjoying doing school at home? A little bit different, huh? Well, this week we're starting a new series called Family. And as you know, we are all like stuck at home right now. And we've been spending a lot of times with our families, right? Right now, that's our core circle, right? And so we'll be learning about how to relate to our families, how you can respect them and love them more. And your family is like your foundation. Did you guys catch what Trevor was saying about foundation? Well, today we're gonna to be talking about our family being our foundation. And I know every family looks a little bit different. Some of you might live with your mom and your dad. Some of you live with maybe just your mom or just your dad, or you might go back and forth between the two. Maybe you live with your grandparents or other family members. Maybe you live in a foster home. But no matter what, our family is where we grow up, right? It's our foundation. So we're gonna go to Connect Station and we're gonna see what they say about family. <laughs> Hi, I'm Clint. And I'm Emily. And we are brother and sister, which means we're family. Not every family looks like us. There are all different kinds of family. And you can say the crew on Connect Station are kind of like a family. Exactly. And Jesus taught us a lot about how to treat each other. And sometimes it can be hard to treat the ones in your home or family the way Jesus told us to. Mm -hmm. So we're going to talk about ways to live the way Jesus wants us to in our family. This week, we'll be exploring about how family is a strong foundation. Yeah, foundation is a big word, but it basically means what something is built on or the bottom layer. Like a like burrito. cake. Or a burrito. Cake. So the foundation for what we think, believe, and feel comes from our family. Yeah, a family is made to be a firm foundation. So think about that and how to connect what Jesus taught us to how you behave in your family. What about burritos? What about birthday cake? How are you enjoying your stay, Nitro? I love it, Dr. Emo. I have made all kinds of new friends. Oh, that is very good. Are you doing okay? Do you need anything? I am fine. Good. I want you to be careful while you're there. Now you need to recharge your battery every 24 hours. I do not understand. Well, take care of your battery. Even robots need rest. <laughs> I will. And make sure everyone is careful with the transformation station. You don't want to overuse it. Okay. I love you, Nitro. And I just want to give you a strong foundation for how to interact with everybody. 
so you could be the best robot you can be. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, and make sure you give everybody lots of space. You're kind of big. You don't want to crush anybody. I will be careful. Okay. You have fun, Nitro. And remember, you are an important part of Connect Station. And if you need anything, you let me know. Hey, Nitro, what's going on? I have just finished speaking with my creator. Oh, did he have anything to say? He has given me a foundation for how to be the best I can be. Hmm. What are you doing? Oh, doing a little recharging myself, watching my favorite show, Raining Dogs. I did not know it could rain dogs. These are special dogs. They can fly. This is very neat. I must recharge. But you're going to miss my favorite part when the dog does the flying propeller spin. I would like to see that. You said this is how you recharge? Yeah, watch a little TV, veg out. I would like to veg out. Whoa, too big. Move over, big guy. Shut down in five, four, three, two, one. Nitro? Nitro? Oh, man. Oh, oh no. I'll call Clint. Clint, I need your help. I'm sleeping. What is it? It's my bedtime. I need your help. Nitro is dead. What do you mean, Nitro is dead? <laughs> he's not responding. Of course he's not responding. He's dead. He's a robot. He can't die. Calm down. His battery's empty. Why didn't he recharge? Well, we were relaxing, watching Raining Dogs. Oh, it's the episode where the dog uses his tail yeah. as a propeller and it's like... Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good one. That's a good, yeah. that's a good one. Wait, Nitro. Huh? We have to get him onto the charging know, station. But, but, but he's so heavy. Uh, I got it. I'll lift this leg. You lift that leg. We can do it together. Okay. Let's get him over to the station. Mike, Nitro needs to always recharge. He doesn't rest like us. And on top of that, you have to let him follow Dr. Emo's foundation. Why is the foundation so important? <sighs> Time to go to the room. Oh. Hi, Ro. How can I help you? Do you have any information on why having a good foundation is important? Yes. Our childhood years are like a foundation that you build the rest of your life on. If you have strong relationships, learn from experiences, and share godly values, you will grow up with a strong foundation. Do you have any stories that show what having a good foundation looks like? I do. Jesus told a story about what it looks like when we build on a good foundation and a bad one. Awesome. Play it. This is a 66 picks mixed up into one. The book's about God, who he is and what he's done. It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside. It's alive, a prize to hide in your heart and in your mind. Old Testaments are set up for the big event. When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement. History, his story, whose story, God's story. Oh, the story of how much he loves me. Let him know up all the pages that this show gone off. Let his word explode from this video into your life. Jesus was on a mountain teaching everyone all about how they should live their life. 
Jesus lived a perfect life, so he wasn't just telling them a good way to live, he was telling them the best way to live. In fact, he was telling them how God wanted them to live. Jesus said that anyone who listens to his teaching and chooses to live God's way is wise, but anyone who refuses to listen to him and lives their life their own way is foolish. Then Jesus told them a little story to help them understand what he meant. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. Foolish man built his house upon the sand. The storms came and the house fell flat. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The storms came and the house fell flat. Yeah. Now, Jesus wasn't talking about houses or weather. Jesus was showing us the consequences of choosing to live God's way or your own way. If you follow Jesus' example, you are building your life on something strong and secure. When trouble and hard times come, you won't be shaken. If you try to live your life your own way, you are building your life on shifting and shaky sand. When trouble and hard times come your way, it will feel like your whole life is falling apart. So, what will you build your life on? Let's sing the song together one more time. This house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The wise man built this house upon the rock. The storms came and the house still stands. The foolish man built this house upon the sand. The storms came and the house fell flat. This man built his house upon the sand. The storms came and the house fell flat. Yeah. I have failed. I have not followed your foundation. I still love you, Nitro, but you need to listen to me. I want you to know that family is made to be a firm foundation. I will remember. Another part of our foundation is for you to be open and honest about how you feel. I would rather you be honest than to hide. I am too big to hide. Oh, I, I meant that as... never mind. Just always tell me what you're going through. I will. Mike. According to my scanners, you seem upset. I always get kitchen duty. I wish they'd stop treating me like a kid. But kitchen duty is a big responsibility. Oh, I just wish they'd treat me like an adult. I wish they saw me a little bit older. Wait, could you help me with the transformation station? I do not know if that is a good idea. My creator said it is dangerous if not used correctly. But you know how to use it. I do. I just want to be careful to follow my foundation. Don't worry, Nitro. It's me doing it. Come on. Please, Nitro. Please. Okay. But we must be careful. Aren't I always? Let's go. Please be careful. I am very worried. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Wish I was older. I don't feel any different. Oh. Man, I must have slept wrong. My back hurts. Why am I craving prunes? Oh. How do I look? Like you have gotten your wish. I'm sleepy. Move it, Tin Man. I'm going to go take a nap. Okay. 
Nitro, why do you look worried? Do robots get worried? I think I may have messed up. Well, what happened? My creator gave a foundation. I may have not followed it completely. Oh. Ah, the door is heavy. Has anybody seen my glasses? Wait, I'm blind. Do I even wear glasses? Oh, no. What are you looking at? Why are you looking at me funny? <coughs> Why are my teeth on the floor? <laughs> Why are there teeth on the floor? Mike, what did you do? Huh? Oh, I didn't do anything. I just made myself a little older. A little? <laughs> I look 40. Well, like 140. What did you guys do? I am. Uh, uh, what are we talking about? Pay attention, Mike. Who are you? We use the transformation station, and Mike has aged. I can see that. We need to call Dr. Emo. Oh no, he will send me off the station. I have broken the foundation. Well, I, I don't know how to work it. Oh, lost the use of my legs. I'm falling. I don't know if I can get up. I will be deprogrammed. You'll be fine, Nitro. Dr. Emo loves you. Don't worry. Hello, Clint. Is, is everything okay? I have used the transformation station. Oh, Nitro, I have warned you. It is very unstable. Is everybody okay? Uh, can somebody help me up? I can't feel my legs. Oh, 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 oh. Might have soiled myself. Mm. Mike, I will fix this. Just make sure you tell the transformation station your age. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I want to be my normal age. I am very disappointed in both of you. He didn't say I couldn't use the transformation station. But I told you, Nitro. And Mike, you should know better than to try to cheat the system. You are a family. And families look out for each other. They respect each other, even other people's rules. Sorry, Nitro. And I am sorry. I will deactivate. No, Naito, I don't want you to do that. Yes, there will be punishment, but I still love you, and I want you to stay. You are like my own son. But I am different. I look different. Yes, you look different, but you are still my family. Everything I'm telling you is for your benefit and because I care about you. You belong here. Never forget, I am giving you this foundation to help you. Yes, Doctor. So, no TV for a week. And Mike, you must now clean the bathroom on the second floor. Fine. May I help him? Considering we are family. Yes, you may. All right, Nitro. Let's go. Clint. Thank you for being a responsible member of the team. Your parents raised you well. They gave me a good foundation. Did you catch the point? A family is made to be a firm foundation. As kids, it's important for us to follow the foundation that our parents and leaders give to us. When we start off life with a good foundation, we will be well prepared for a strong, successful, healthy life. The Bible has a great verse about that in Proverbs 22, 6. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they're old, they will not turn from it. Exactly. We wouldn't be where we are if we didn't follow our parents. So, the next time you want to stay up late, or watch something you're not supposed to. Or eat all my ice cream. Or not do your homework. Remember, family is made to be a firm foundation. And with a firm foundation, the sky's the limit. Or space! <laughs> get it? Because we're in space. Yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> uh, 
I cracked me up. Okay. That's one of those. <laughs>